lot of spring chicken. I know, can you tell we get a little bit distracted? My mind is just literally spinning because we have been, di can I say digest? Um, absorbing so much information for the last couple days from Digital Hollywood. And of course, I guess there is still other news that's going on around us besides Digital Hollywood, right? Oh, I guess I better bring old Kim on with the comments on the headlines of today. Now this one I have to just a little bit chuckle about, which says, hundreds of iPhones smuggled into China in beer bottles. I'm trying to figure out how you can smuggle an iPhone anywhere in a beer bottle. For, beer bottles uh, are not big enough to put iPhones into. I know. What they do? Break down the parts? Or what was that? A huge I, beer bottle? I'm thinking they're using big ear bottles. But, <laughs> but you could see. I mean, how uh, out there? But it would be in liquid, wouldn't it? I know. I mean, of course, I kind of do like that. I'd like to see what the bottle looks like. I know. They didn't show you the bottles, folks. And more Fed officials see rate hikes sooner than expected. Well, you know, because the economy is roaring so well, I mean, first of all, the economy was only doing one point, we're doing 2.2 percent, which is what the Obama and the administration is, is claiming. This is flip flop Obama, folks. We've been, he's been hiding for a while. But um, uh, it actually was revised last year down to 1.3 percent. But they haven't bothered with the revision. They're still, run, they're going to run the campaign for that presidency on 2.2 percent. It, it's basically because it's, the economy is burning up the landscape so much. You know, then there's no inflation. They're going to have to raise the cost of doing business in the United States in order to cool the economy down. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to kill the economy. Study Antarctic ice melting from warm water below. I, I got it. You know, I hate to tell them this, but there's always been warm water below, which is where most of the fish stay, folks. You know, the, those fish the, go around the world. They, they tend to go to the warmer waters for... For one, you know, for breeding and then up there because they like it because of the food that's available. There's always been warm water under the Arctic. And Culver Super PAC out fundraises Ron Paul. Yeah, but that's not saying much because, you know, Ron Paul isn't even running in the election anymore for all practical purposes. I didn't know he still was. Well, he is, but nobody cares. Oh, is that like Sarah Palin running? What again, what is Ron Paul <laughs> either, okay. There's going to, the President of the United States, here's flip flop, depends upon Ron Paul or somebody else siphoning off one third of the vote out there. The, the, he, can, he needs someone that sets an all time record for an independent vote in order to win the presidency because their campaign, which we've been, we told people a long time ago, is all about winning, a, winning the presidency with a minority of the vote. Mm -hmm. Salt and Sea, is it drying up? You know, it has been for as long as I've been here, and I've been here for a long time. Salt and Sea. What happened was the uh, the Grand Ca the Colorado River used to feed water into the Salt and Sea. They bypassed the uh, that that area and basically funneled the water out through other areas, and basically Salt and Sea became an inland lake then, and was feeding off of runoff water from farms. The, uh, the Environmental Protection Agency stopped the runoff water from going into the into the sea, so guess what happens? It dries up. Mm -hmm. And Ann Romney had health scare before Super Tuesday. Yeah, the, you know, the woman has got muscular dystrophy and re uh, you know, multiple sclerosis and recovering from cancer. She's not very healthy, and uh, but the Democrats seem to be wanting to pound on her for It's all like, of that. leave her alone! She's <laughs> well, no, but basically, you do not dare say anything about our wife, but we're going to destroy you if you're a Republican wife. No. Laptop seized legal trouble for Fox Mole. Yeah, well, because it's got stolen. Okay, what happens is he stole material from Fox News, mm -hmm. and it was on his computer. It's the problem is they, okay, you cannot completely delete every, okay, you want to know how you handle the problem? Basically, you have to degas your computer, which is basically the, to run an electronic wand around it. Go watch the core, you know, the movie The Core, you know, and, 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 with, and, and you'll see the guy's got a little wand and he's degaussing everything so oh, they can really? find nothing on him. And Burger King makes cage free eggs and pork products. Which we. It, it Didn't they do that before? No, I mean, we did it before because it's still news. But they're basically because nobody believes it can't be done because. You have to have the birds in the cages in order to lay the eggs because you cannot 
If they lay it on the ground, they break the, the eggs. The reason they're done in a cage is so the eggs do not get broken. So they, the cage, the, what is it, the eggs drop down. They drop but down. But I mean, you can buy cage for eggs. They're just a lot more expensive. They're a lot more expensive, and you're not going to raise prices over there, plus the fact that Because it also means somebody has to walk around They, they the want egg. to humanely treat pigs now, which is basically, which also costs more. Pig, pig farmers have been doing everything the same way for a zillion years. They're basically, there are laws they have to obey, they obey the laws, and now, because, okay, this is basically kissing the backside of the Obama administration again, because Obama wants to shut down every fast food restaurant in the nation for the good of the children of this nation. It's called, don't go feed your kid the fattening food. Yeah, but, uh, you okay. have a choice. Democrats do not believe in personal responsibility. Democrats think that the government should tell everybody. Okay, um, we'll go. We just came back from seeing the Avengers. That uh, the, the basically the Loki was going to free everybody from freedom because freedom was what was causing so much trouble. Mm. This is what the Democrats, which means he's probably running for vice president under Obama next time, I guess. And Indonesia suspends U.S. beef imports over mad cow deal. Oh, I mean, it should never have mad cow. What happens is, they, uh, they, they'll, because the farmers don't have the money to pay for the food, that they, you know, for the grains and stuff, they need to feed the cattle and livestock, they'll cut it to make it go further, and they'll put in, you know, like brains of animals. Because mm -hmm. brains is basically a throwaway thing in stockyards. Mm -hmm. if, you don't, if you don't sell brains... They grind it up and, and make it for feed for other places, but you shouldn't be doing it because brains is where you tend to get the mad cow thing. And Apple's next big thing, an employee-only cafeteria. Well, that's because they were making a joke at that. They were. That you won't know what Apple TV is like unless somebody leaves a 60-foot Apple TV on <laughs> you know, a bar. This is what happens. Apple employees will would take things out to eat, take them with them when they were working and then leave them sitting on bars. Then they would they would tear people's homes apart to see if somebody, no, you didn't steal something that was left behind, folks. No, that means the person left it. Well, that's why Apple is being sued for everybody you can think of over going and tearing people, they're, they're, okay, because Apple is basically supports the president, the Justice Department helps them in their attacks on individuals who they think have done them wrong. And watch, frog relaxes and the world goes wild. Okay, um, what, what so we can tell you fun? that viral video is bigger than 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 made videos. I mean, you get to two hundred million views of a frog going. Are you I serious? Get, yeah, you're not gonna get. You get three million views of an actor in a, in a role, and they're basically saying that well, that's got to be one of the great videos of all times. And we only spent two hundred thousand dollars to do it. They spent nothing for the video with the. Uh -huh. And baby security breach closes New Jersey airport terminal. Uh, a baby got loose. Oh, is it, are okay. you serious? Here's the problem is is that most parents do not understand that toddlers can fly. If you turn your back on a toddler, they're good like that. They may like baby look like this, but those little kids are built close to the ground. They can move. I know. They, it's like they've got other feet on. <laughs> yeah, they can. They got. They really can move. But most if you're a first time parent. You have no idea how fast you. If you turn your back on. But one they of close the airport terminal for that. Oh yeah, the baby got on tarmac. He went through a door where people are coming in, and it went like that before anybody could grab him. And Obama cracks down on for-profit schools. Oh, you know why? He, he, I'm doing this to protect servicemen from schools that are gouging him. No, he's doing it because for-profit schools are any college in any college or learning institution that doesn't hire union teachers and they oh, charge them. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, if you don't hire, if you're hiring union teachers, you're not going to get cracked down on. It's another thing to the unions and basically, he, he's going to executive order this nation to death if you become, become president again, so. And authorities, Bunker Washington fugitive surrounded. Yeah, well they killed the poor guy. They said he shot himself in the head, but they did kill him. Yeah, so. But he shot himself in the head and lived? I, no, and then, he did, so I don't guess we... And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, uh, okay, that you have to go to an industry event to understand how absolutely retarded people are. 